Hey there, folks. Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here again to tell you about our snorkel tour on Moktan Island in Cebu, Philippines. We ended up booking a half-day tour for only 60 bucks, but that was an adventure in itself. We stayed at the Ruvenpik Hotel, which was right next to the main pier. It was a beautiful hotel itself, and we had a great time. One of the tips they gave us was to simply walk over to the pier and negotiate directly with the captain. That's how you get the best deals. So, being the venturesome types that we are, that's what we did. Good morning. Where are you at, babe? I'm in Cebu. We hired a guy off the street to take us on a boat tour today. We're gonna go to an island just off of Cebu, do some snorkeling, hang around on the beach. Hopefully not get rained out. Okay, let's check this out. We were told to sit over here and wait. <laughs> hmm. A little bit dirty here. Put all the tie wraps and thank you. Oh yes, it's super slippery. There's an anchor. Just adjust that to that boat. Crisanto is our guide today. Lara's enjoying the first part of her wonderful Philippine island hopping tour, walking through the seaweed and garbage. Ooh, there's some urchins in here. Be careful, babe. It's a sea urchin. Car body engine here in the engine or uh yeah we don't his boat. Yeah, Hey boat. Well I do have to say the walk wasn't all bad. We did get to see some beautiful starfish. Okay. Oh, oh we're going. I think we could just walk there, yeah? What do you yeah. think? Is it deep? No, shallow. Yeah, we go. Okay, we can walk there. The type of boat we took is called a pump boat. It's basically a banca or pawa boat with an engine. They're all over the Philippines. You made it? At our first stop, we got to swim with some colorful fish and also feed them some rice. The second stop was a bit further out where we got to swim with some jackfish. Our third stop was actually on a small private island, but it was kind of boring and actually we didn't take many pictures. But I did take a pretty crappy drone shot here from an old drone that didn't have a three axis gimbal, so a bit shaky. 
It was a bit dirty here and there, but overall we had a great time and it was a great experience doing it on our own with a local private captain we just tracked down. We recommend that everyone take a little chance like this when they travel. It's really great to immerse yourself in the local culture and the local people. Until next time, see you later.